How to install a better bath correctly. In order to make it easier to install your bath, place it upside down on supports. Choose the working height that suits you. Then remove the protective non-woven fabric from the foot tabs and bend them slightly away from the bath. To attach the foot bridge, first hook it into the foot tab on one side. Do the same on the other side and position the feet evenly to suit the position of the bath. Now tighten the tension tape to a maximum of 3.5 Newton meter until the screw head breaks off. Don't worry, the break off screws will prevent you from over tightening. Do the same with the second foot bridge. Then stick the remaining tension tape under the foot bridge. This will allow you to check that you have positioned the feet flush according to the shape of the bath. In this example, we are using the better spring inlet. This allows you to dispense with a wall side water inlet as the bath fills from the inlet in the bottom of the bath. Fit your chosen drain and overflow set in accordance with the specifications in the assembly instructions. Once you have fitted the waste fitting, you can adjust the feet to the approximate dimension. When you adjust the feet, make sure that you leave a gap of at least 5 mm to the floor under the waste fitting. Then you can set up the bath for the initial positioning and apply the dimensions for the bath anchors. Use the bath anchors with integrated sound decoupling to reliably fit a bath or shower tray to a wall. We recommend you use three anchors to fit your bath. You will find them in our set. Position the bath anchors according to the bath rim geometry. You can also attach the bath anchors so the bath is clamped or resting. The assembly instructions show you exactly where and how to fit the bath anchors. Place the bath upside down again on the supports. Attach the bath divider to the sides where it will later be underpinned, i.e. the long and short sides facing the room. Our bath divider is made of a very stretchy, tear-proof, non-woven foil combination and ensures a defined separation between the bathroom product and the on-site underpin. This allows mineral adhesives to achieve the optimum bond with the incorporated non-woven. Please ensure that you glue the bath divider to the rim of the bath evenly and without tension. If at all possible, the divider should follow the geometry of the bath. Once you have applied the bath divider, you can attach the sealing system to the rim of the bath. Apply the long and short sides to the wall. To do this, first glue the bath adjustment corner to the wall wall corner. This ensures that the corner radius of the bath is as precise as possible. Now, you can easily work the sealing tape into the right angle of the wall wall corner. Then apply the sealing tapes and corners to the outside of the rim of the bath as appropriate to your installation situation and in accordance with the assembly instructions. Run the enclosed roller over all the adhesive surfaces. Our sealing system for baths contains all the items that you need both for the bath shown here with the conventional bath rim greater than or equal to 15 mm, greater than 15 mm, and for our baths with folded edges. Finally, apply the bath divider, which you will also find in our ceiling set. The bath divider needs to be attached to the sides of the bath that will later be positioned against the wall on the rim above the ceiling tape. The bath divider has a decoupling effect between the rim of the bath and the wall. You can now turn the bath over again, put it where you want it to go and align the feet for the last time using a spirit level. Then turn and tighten the bath anchors to match the rim of the bath and the installation height. 
The bath will now be positioned over the feet and attached by the anchors. You can now carry out the potential equalization of the foot tab as appropriate to the national requirements for your location. Time to test fill your bath. When you test fill your bath, you can check the inlet and outlet and make sure that there are no leaks. Run 50 to 60 litres of water into the bath so it is loaded appropriately for grouting later on. Then apply the tile dividing strip which is included in the sealing system to the rim of the bath. The tile dividing strip will be tiled over later on. This dividing strip ensures a safe decoupling between tile and bath. Now you or the tiler can underpin, seal and tile the bath. Underpin the bath first, e.g. with etong stones. Then work the underpinning into the composite seal along the base. The bath sealing system must also be worked into the composite seal. Then you can tile the floor, base and wall. Cut off any of the tile dividing strip that is still visible. Now all that remains is to clean the rim of the bath and apply silicone. And you're done.